I bought this scarf from H&M and it has honestly lasted me about three seconds because it's already molting. What the fuck? Um, firstly, I'm very sorry about this big pile of wank on my bed. Um, I have just got back from Saltburn, which is this place by the sea. Um, and I am going to Richmond in like an hour, so I don't have time to tidy it up. I'm sorry. I'm very, very sorry. Um, I've got a lot of t I've got a lot of information to tell you guys. Um, since I last spoke to you guys, which was like, what, two months ago? Um, I have been sat forward slash... Uh, forward slash um, left my other job it was just not working out I wasn't happy there so I was just like you know what fuck you um, but don't worry don't panic um, I am now starting a new job on the 17th of November as a marketing assistant so I'll have to help with mar marketing campaigns and research analysis and delivering the campaign so sort of photo shoots and TV adverts and whatever we decide to do I'll help with that. So basically I'll be everyone's bitch making them cups of tea. Um, also, I passed my driving test yesterday. I'm so happy. Passing your driving test in England is the most hardest thing in the universe because there's so much shit you got to remember and like there aren't the roads aren't straight and it's just messy. There are cars whizzing everywhere and it's just madness. Um, but yeah, it was good. I, I, I passed with nine minors and no majors, obviously, because if you get a major then you don't pass. Um, but yeah, nine minors, you're allowed to have 14 minors, I think. Maybe 15, don't know. Who knows? But either way, I passed. Um, also, um, I got bought a car from my daddy because I'm an only child. And that's what you get for being an only child. You just get loads of shit bought for you, randomly. Um, also, I couldn't afford, there's no way that I could afford to buy my own car and there's no way I could have started this new job because it's in a big business park in the middle of nowhere so my dad was very kind and bought me a car um, <coughs> um, I also saw this watch in Phoenix like about six weeks ago and I just looked at it and I'm just like oh my god I want you now um, so I begged pleaded nagged my parents to buy me this watch and they bought half of it I bought the other half, so I had a little bit of a savey, um, and they bought me the other half. It's amazing. It is an Armani watch. You might, might want to have a little look there, a little look at the side where it says Emporio Armani. Oh, um, I do love it. I'll have this for years, though. It is, it is an expensive watch, and it is a nice watch, but it's one of them watches that you can have for a long time, so I'll probably have it for like five, six years, or until I find a watch I prefer. Um, I also broke my laptop. I trod on the plug. Don't know who was hurt more, me or the laptop, but the laptop broke and my foot didn't break, but it killed. Um, so I can't um, edit shit anymore. But I will, as you can probably tell, I'm good at nagging and um, getting my parents to buy me shit. So let's hope they'll buy me some editing software. If they don't, I love you guys so much. I love YouTube. I love talking to all you guys. And I love hearing about like what's going on with you guys. So I will definitely, definitely buy some editing software. My belly is full of pizza and chocolate cake and Chinese. I'm a fat bastard. Also, I saw this woman on the bus who had a really small mouth. She was kind of like, hello, could I have some money, please? And I was like, no, you stink of piss. Right, I'm going to go now. World peace, goodbye.